Hey everybody, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and country cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila. Hi, she she. Hi, this is Sheila and Jin Jin over here, and today we have a special recipe, and it is a special occasion with a special lady, and Jennifer's going to introduce her. Yes, we are going to do a special Mother's Day recipe today, and who else do we have but my mom, Donna, Mama Donna, and if, if any of you that ever saw the Shock and Red Variety Show, you saw us sing together, we sang together on the General Jackson, all of us girls did, and um, we're just happy that she's here today to do a Mother's Day recipe with us. So take it away, what are we doing today, Mom? Today we are doing chicken pot pie. It is absolutely delicious. You're going to love it. I've got a couple of shortcuts that you'll just love. Shortcuts? I love shortcuts. Shortcuts, shortcuts are always are good. good. And we're going to do it in a cast iron skillet. It's going to go from your stove top right into your oven. And like I said, you're going to love it. So, so tell us how we start. Well, I'm using a cast iron skillet. Now, if you don't have one and you're getting a new one, uh, you need to season it first. So what you want to do is you'll want to wash it in soapy water really good first. And then you're going to want to rub either Crisco or vegetable oil all over the pan. On the inside, on the outside. And then you set it in the oven. And you set the oven at 350 degrees. And you'll put it on a cookie sheet with foil. Turn this over. Leave it in your oven for an hour. Let it cool in the oven, take it out, and you're ready to go and, and start cooking with and it. And they call that seasoning the pan. Seasoning your cast iron skillet. Yes. That will last you a lifetime and your children's lifetime. Now, you don't have to do it in a cast iron skillet, but we right. wanted it. We, we like it like this, but you could also do it in a nonstick skillet yeah. and then transfer it over into another container dished right to put it in the oven. Right. So. so you're going to hand this pan down to her one day? I am. <laughs> I'm I going am. to inherit a cast iron skillet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 me. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Okay, so what goes first? The very first thing is you want to add about, this, okay. yeah, let's try with a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, there just, you go. Just, you know, about mm -hmm. a tablespoon. Yeah, I yeah, just, you're, you're, just you're like us. We just put about, yeah, yeah, that's about that. That may be a little bit more, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. And then you're going to want to add, I used salted butter in this. I just really like it. Um, if you don't, you don't have to. You can go ahead and season to taste then. But I've got about, oh, maybe four tablespoons of butter in here with the olive oil. Four tablespoons, okay. Maybe a little bit more. And then you're going to want to add uh, onion. And I used, uh, I'm using yellow onions. And you might want to turn the pan up just a little bit. Is that up, Sheila? Is it on? <laughs> is it on? Is Did it you on? turn that on? Yeah, now the light's on. So oh, now it's on. That's a good sign. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, it's melting. So, it was and probably a while ago. I'm using about a cup of the yellow chopped onions. And you're going to want to cook those just until they're uh, translucent. It doesn't take that long. Uh, just maybe if the pan gets hot. <laughs> You might have to wait until the pan warms yeah. up. Now, see, I had it, I had it on, and then we turned it down because it started it was to smoke. smoking. It was smoking. So wait, it was turn hot. that down. It was really hot. It was yeah. hot. So because we got delayed, and that's just the way we roll around here. Okay. You know, Shishi's mom couldn't be here with us. We wanted her to be here to do this Mother's Day special. We were going all four of us girls were gonna try and get up here and do this, but um, she couldn't be here. So she can make it next week. She said that she was going to get up here and do several recipes for us. She, she's ready to do some more recipes. So. <laughs> and she's a good cook. And she's a very ah, good cook. Yes, so. she is. All right, so once we got the onion sautéed, um, then what do we do next? Yeah, they get translucent. Now we're going to add the O'Brien potatoes, which is right, is right here. There. And I like these because they're diced really small. They have little bits of uh, the red and green bell pepper in it. Not a whole lot. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, add that into here. Here, here, here. Spin it out. Okay. And we're probably, we'll, we'll have the exact uh, ingredients in the comment section uh, below the video so you'll be able to see. But this is probably about, oh, maybe two cups of the O'Brien's. And what I did is I partially defrosted them 
when I took them out because they're from the freezer. And now I'm putting them in the pan with the onions. And then I'm going to add a little salt and pepper just for taste. And this is entirely up to you how much or how little you want. It's your own preference. I'm glad you put your hand on there so you yeah. know how much you Well, you want. never know. I, don't I know. know. Have you ever just had something just dump out oh, on yeah. the end? <laughs> Oh, I've, had, yeah. I've had it where the whole lid fell off. Oh, I have too. I've been oh. making eggs or something. The whole thing just dump in on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You do the pepper and you get too much and you start sneezing. Or you go to a restaurant and somebody else before you has took the lid off. And oh, yeah. Off. Yes. The kids do that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, probably cook this. You don't want the O'Briens to be brown like you would for hash browns, but you just want them uh, cooked because this is going to go into the oven, which will cook them the, the rest of the way. So I'd say you're probably going to have it in the pan probably about five minutes. Okay. I What's think next? we're ready. Okay. All right. So the next thing now we're going to do is we're going to add, I have uh, cream of chicken soup, condensed cream of chicken soup. That works. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add this. And that's what makes it creamy. Mm-hmm. Cream of, this cream is of, one cream of, of the... <laughs> Hence, cream of chicken. This is one of the shortcuts. She, <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Because <laughs> you can make your all right. own. I love you. You can make your own uh, sauce, you know, out of butter and flour and, and milk or, you know, your roux, whatever you want to say. Oh, yeah. But bread. this oh, is really good. And so, yeah. I've got the chicken broth here. All righty. So, we're going to go ahead. And I'm probably going to use at least three quarters of that pan of chicken broth in here. Okay, because it, it, it um, the potatoes and everything start soaking it up. So that leaves a little bit of, so it doesn't get dried out. Right. Yes. Yeah, and, and when you put it in the oven, too, it's going to, you know, evaporate. See how that goes. Okay. We're ready? We're ready. Okay. <laughs> What's All next, right. Mom? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I have um, frozen peas and carrots. I cooked them partially. I did about three minutes in the microwave. And I'm going to go ahead and add this. Now here is your color. Mm -hmm. That's right. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, yeah. So, and this is a 12-ounce bag. Okay. Do you make this a lot? I do, yeah. I didn't know because I never heard from you when you were making it. <laughs> Never heard from you. I just wondered. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get any dinner call. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hear no dinner bell, no text message. Uh, no nothing. I didn't even smell it. <laughs> I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this chicken broth because I'm gonna be adding the chicken in. Okay. Okay. And this is probably about two cups of chicken. And what I did is I went and bought a uh, roasted chicken and I shred it. I like it when it's shredded. You can cube it. You can use your leftover chicken, whatever you like. Yeah, a lot of times you buy those big hens and you don't know what to do with the rest of that chicken. Mm -hmm. And well, you can clean it off and make chicken pot pie with it the next night. Definitely. I like stuff that's already done. Exactly. Oh, yeah. This is another shortcut that's wonderful. When you're in a hurry and... Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. And you know what? You can have this any time of year. This is a one crust... It's only going to have the top crust on it. You really don't have to cook this a whole lot. I mean, the chicken's already done. So what you want to do, and, and you taste, go ahead and taste it season to taste. If you like it, you know, with more seasoning, you can go ahead and put it on now because the last thing now that you're going to do is put the pie crust on. These are fabulous. For those of you, these, oh yeah. Pillsbury. I mean, you can make it from scratch, but you why can. do all that work when they've already perfected oh, yeah, yeah. the recipe for you? Yeah. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is, it's in a roll, and you just start unrolling it. Well, that makes it easy. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. And you just lay it here, unroll it, like so. And what I do... Is you just kind of take it and press it on the sides here. Uh, you do want to put some slits in here uh, because to let out the steam and make it pretty. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm just doing like six little slits here just to let out the steam. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is I have one egg and I put about a teaspoon of water and you whisk it up and you want to put an egg wash and I like that because it makes it a beautiful golden brown, gives it kind of a shiny, really wonderful finish. And you're ready to go in a 400 degree oven and you're going to cook it probably about 40 minutes. 40 but minutes? And I'll carry it because I know it's a little heavy. Okay. And uh, You'll throw the pot, there you go. Yeah. And I'm... We will be back. Look at how pretty it looks. Isn't that pretty? Awesome. Even so we just got this out of the oven and we baked it for about 40 minutes at 400. And as you can see, it kind of bubbled over a little bit. You let it sit out for about 15 minutes to set up and it looks absolutely it really fabulous. Does. It does look good. It's making me very Can't hungry. Can't wait to dig into it. Okay, so let's do that, those. girls. Yeah, do that. Okay. Oh, she's got those. Yeah. She's got those. Okay, here, June. Oh, oh, thanks. Okay, Where'd so that knife go? The knife. Where'd We're going to use it. This knife out here. This. Are you going to cut it first, or? Uh huh. Go Here's like this. Oh, you're going to use that. Here. Yeah. We're oh, gonna get so it. Keep away from that knife. She was dangerous. With those <laughs> We're going to get. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, yummy. Oh, oh that looks so good. Gosh. Okay. I hope I. You know how it is trying to get the first. It's piece always the first out. piece. You want me oh, help yeah. you with a spoon? Well, One side. let's see. No, it's going to come right out of there. Oh my God. Look go. at this. Look. Awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. Here, can you get that off the, no, the spatula right there? Look at this, you guys. I've never took anything out of a pan. My I'll, I'll leave that one for you. Gosh. Mm. Grab another one. Yum. Fill it in. There you go, Mom. Mm -hmm. Yum. We wow. are ready. Are we ready, we girls? Are ready. Okay. Okay, ready? Let's go for it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That is good. Awesome. Mama Donna's chicken pot pie. That is really mm. good. Oh yeah. And so flaky, this crust. And I love, love the O'Brien potatoes in it. That really makes mm. it really good. It, it's, a, it's a whole different kind of taste. taste. It's great. Wonderful. You are leaving this whole pan here, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like that's dinner for like the next oh three nights gosh. and uh, lunches. And you guys, that yeah, is I'm, so good. I'm telling you right now, you got to make this. It is absolutely fabulous very good love it. We, we get some nice mm. emails and, and letters on our Facebook page and stuff. Mm -hmm. people said that they used it we got a really nice letter from the Clarksville Police Department they said that their dispatch center and their whole department had mm. our uh, enchilada casserole that and they all loved, loved it. it they said they it was, it was all completely said gone it was awesome it was awesome so we love to hear your feedback so if you want to come to our Facebook page and or send us a private message we would love to hear from you and as Steve would say if this, this is, is not, not the best, best Mama, Mama Donna's, Donna's chicken pot pie if it ain't, it ought to be. We hope you come back and join us again for another recipe. Don't forget, our recipe is always down in the comments, so you don't have to go to any other website to see it. And, and we, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Definitely. definitely. Like, share, and subscribe with your friends. We really appreciate it. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. And Twitter. And Instagram. And send your recipes in. Yes, on yes. shotgunred.com. Like we said, if we use one of their recipes, they get a gift. That's right. If we if we use one of your recipes on the show, you'll get a free DVD, DVD. of the Shotgun Red <laughs> show live. So we hope you'll send us your recipes. It gives us some more material and to share with everybody because we like to share everybody else's great recipes too. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> How we start? Yeah, with the cast iron. Oh, skin. that. Okay. <laughs> How do we start? <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. a recipe. I'm okay. not sure how we from start. The from, the, from the beginning. <laughs> from the beginning. Okay. In the well, beginning. I was born <laughs> December 19th. <laughs> My mom loved to cook. No. There's been a lot of okay. recipes. Since My then. little Italian mom is going to show us how to do a recipe. All right. Okay. By the okay. time it gets dark outside, we'll be doing good. <laughs> we'll be great. <laughs> we'll have this down. What a special occasion, and we have. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we have. <laughs> we have. <laughs> we have <laughs> my camera starts to fog up. My glasses yeah. are. Your glasses are fogging up. <laughs> She'd be like, I can't see I, what I'm stirring, but it's good. <laughs> I need windshield wipers. <laughs> Donna, Donna, it's over here. Wait. To the left, to the left. Oh, no, what did you and your uh, husband, which is Jennifer's dad? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, it could be. I don't know. Wait. Are you the love child or what? I don't know. 
I'm an only child. Oh, only child. Not the love child, but this is the only child. Yeah. Okay, so we just took this out of the oven. It was in a 400 degree oven. Was that in the oven? <laughs> it was just in like Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> I can only do this because it's my mother. <laughs> and we know how we like to pick on moms. Uh, this, this is not the best, not the best wait, chicken wait, wait, pot wait. pie. <laughs> Let's try it. If this, this ain't the best Mama Donna's chicken pot pie, if it ain't, ain't, it ought to be. You better what? <laughs> what were you going to say? I don't know. <laughs> you better what? You better, what? You better try it. It better be. <laughs> We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.